naturally went down to the Green Man for a quiet drink. Well, we hadn't had anything to eat, so we just had a couple of bags of pork scratchings and some bacon flavoured crisps. And one of the crisps got stuck in my throat. And you know it took three or four gin and tonics to shift it. <laughs> and I think that one of those crisps was bad. Because when I got outside at half past eleven, I felt quite dizzy. <laughs> what time did you go into the pub for your nightcap? About quarter to eight. <laughs> but do you know what I think happened? I think my body temperature dropped. Anyway, I hung on to this lamppost and we sang songs to keep us warm. <laughs> but you were glad when the bus arrived. Well, the first one didn't stop. And I know he saw me, because I lifted up my skirt and stuck my leg out. <laughs> and he put his foot down and he drove straight past us. So you let's get on the next one? No, but the one after that stopped. <laughs> oh, and the conductor was cheeky. Do you know, the bus was completely empty, but he made us go upstairs. So when I got off, I took, I took his number. Oh, well, I hope you wrote it down. I didn't need to. It's on his hat. 